a banned Thai opposition politician has defended his criticism of the government's vaccine strategy, which heavily relies on a local manufacturer owned by the king. Panathon Jengrung Rungkit has been charged with insulting the monarchy. Despite that, he's vowed to keep campaigning for reforms. Sakthis Sayasomba tells us more. It was the usual defiance by Thai opposition politician Tanaton Tungrung Runkit as he defends his criticism against the Thai government's handling of the COVID-19 vaccine and his criticism that it relies too much on only one company. He reiterates his demands for more transparency in the deal that would see a total of 61 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine being manufactured here in Thailand by a company called Siam Bioscience. The company is owned by the Crown Property Bureau and is under the full control of Thailand's King Mahawatera Longkong. The Thai government has filed complaints for computer crimes and royal defamation against him for his criticism and allegation. Mr. Tanaton himself says the government is using the monarchy to shield itself from any accountability and says the charges are politically motivated. It's because we challenge the status quo, we challenge the establishment. I believe that all the cases against me, not only this one, are politically motivated. Imagine this. I am 40, um, I'm 42. Right? Before I'm in politics for two years. 40 years of my life, I've never been charged. I've never been prosecuted. Not even one case. Not even one case. But I started politics two years. I have, I don't know, countless of cases against me. Mr. Tanatong could become the highest profile case to be trialed for less majesty, the law of, of royal defamation that punishes criticism of the royal family with up to 15 years in prison. Now, the law hasn't been used in a while, but it has been revived last fall at the height of the anti-government protests where rallies for many months in the last year have called for sweeping political reforms, including of the monarchy. Now, even though technically it will be still some time until Mr. Tanatong will be on trial, for royal defamation, but earlier this week we had a sentence, a record sentence of 87 years against a woman for less just and that sends a chilling reminder of the harsh penalties that could occur. Saksitsa Asombat, CNA Bangkok.